The family of a toddler with Down syndrome receives a frightening phone call. The child found in the middle of a busy road while he was supposed to be safe at school. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Laura Monteverdi. Bob has the night off. Our Haven Hughes spoke with the family today and the person who may have very well saved that little boy's life, Haven. Yeah, Laura, it was a very scary situation for Caden and his family. They tell me he got out of the Pathfinder Preschool building in Jacksonville yesterday morning. A good Samaritan stopped when seeing traffic swerving to not hit the child. A person Caden's family calls his lifesaver. Go! Good job! While at his preschool, Caden's mother says the director told her he slipped out of the cafeteria doors. The people who possibly been watching him and under his care, just as needs to be done. Found on a busy street, all alone. All of a sudden, I see a baby just running around. After catching Caden, Christy Coulter said proper authorities were called and she went to the fire station. Took him there so he would be warm because he didn't have a jacket on. He was wet. He was cold. Coulter says police had to call around to facilities to see if they had a missing child. The Jacksonville Police Department confirms they did not receive a call from Pathfinder Preschool. I received the call, but it was after he was found. But it was frightening, and I was scared of his well-being because if he's running on the main road, he could have got hit by a car. You know, anybody could have kidnapped him, and then I would have been without my baby. We reached out to Pathfinder Preschool for a statement. Good afternoon. My name is Haven Hughes. But we're told it was under investigation. Investigation and they could not comment. All I could say is they sorry. And it wouldn't be no sorry to, you know, losing a child. But thanks to his new best friend. You're so sweet. He has a new fire truck toy. There we go. And is safely home with his family. We need more people like you in this world because anything could have happened to my baby. Coulter says it's her hope others would do the same thing. I feel like more people in our community should step up and stop being ugly. But because of her, Kaden gets to spend the holidays and every other day at home safe. You saved my grandbaby's life. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Got it. Well, according to the Arkansas Department of Human Services website, Pathfinder has been visited five times this year with no violations cited. They told us they could not comment if an investigation is currently underway. Live in studio, I'm Haven Hughes, KRK4 News. Back to you, Laura.